today is Tuesday, October the 17th, and this is Sunrise with Wayne and Pat. And thank you very much for being with us on this Tuesday morning. And a quick reminder that this program airs at 7 a.m. every day, Monday through Friday. And then it repeats at noon, then it repeats again at 5.30 p.m. Now, you may notice our, our setting here. Uh, this is a bridge out at, uh, out at Waynesboro Park. And this is uh, the path on the red trail out there. You know, all the trails are... Red are, or orange. Red, red. Orange. Is it orange? Orange. I thought it was red. Anyway, Color all these... Hmm? Colorblind. Okay. All these trails are marked, color-coded, and as long as you stay on the trail and follow a particular color code, and they're all easily marked, then, uh, then you'll, en you'll enjoy a particular trail. And there are maps available at the park for you to follow, okay? So, uh, and the reason we even bring this up and the reason we have this in the background is within the next week or two, you're going to see, uh, we took a little trip out there and talked to Neil Bartlett for a while. He took us on a tour of these trails out at, uh, out at uh, the park, Waynesboro Park. And he wanted to remind everybody that there's no charge to get into the park. There's no charge for parking. There's no charge to walk the trails. In fact, uh, from sun up to sundown, the trails are always open, and everybody and anybody is always invited to attend. He has people coming out there in the mornings, right after sunrise, to run and exercise. He has people come out throughout the day to just walk the trails, and anybody. The trails are always open Monday through Sunday, and seven days a week, and from sunrise to sunset. So just go out and enjoy, and it's a fantastic, a fantastic park. We're very fortunate to have Waynesboro Park in Wayne County. And, you know, he told me that he actually heard from a gentleman the other day who said that, he'd, that he had no idea. He'd been here all his life, and he had no idea that Waynesboro Park even existed. Well, that's pretty much a stretch because I thought just about everybody knew about Waynesboro Park. It is not a secret. I mean, it's right out there on Highway 117, right across from the National Guard Armory. And uh, it's one of my favorite places to go. If you're looking for a place just to kind of kick back and relax, if you want to read a book, go out and have, maybe have a picnic or something, it is a great place for that. And we've got some pretty good weather coming up again this weekend. So uh, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be uh, a nice, uh, nice day to have a picnic. If you want to have a fall-ish kind of a picnic, just somewhere to go to kill some time. It's great out there. There's a, it's a, it's a large park, plenty of walking room. The trails are great, but they also have a little village set up out there. And we're going to be bringing you over the next course of the uh, the next several weeks uh, some um, some looks at Waynesboro Park. I think you're going to be surprised at everything that is at Waynesboro Park, especially inside the the visitor center. Yes. You know the new collection they've got out there. That is Unbelievable. Correct unbelievable anyway and they hold their any kind of events out there almost. oh they have all kinds of events out there yes. the scouts always uh, seem to have something going on out there That's right. it's a great place for family reunion it's a great place for a for a, a, a neighborhood picnic or family picnic or something like that mm -hmm. uh, uh, anyway it's just it's just a great place to go it is a fun yes. place Waynesboro Park really nice out there it is. I'm surprised more people don't take advantage of it it's a great place right off highway 117 bypass across from the National Guard Armory and the old and former WFMC uh, uh, radio station, right across the street. Today is the 17th, it is a Tuesday, and today on the 17th, what's special about today? Ah, glad you asked. Today is National Pharmacy Technician Day, PT. Pharmacy Technician Day. Okay. It's also National Pasta Day, like pasta tomatoes, pasta, Pasta, cream potatoes, pasta day. It's National Edge Day, always on the edge. Yeah. It's also Mulligan Day. It's also, it's also, it's also International Day for the Eradication of Poverty, which is something I believe was started back in the Johnson administration in 1964. And are we there yet? I don't think so. Anyway. It's, a, it's also wear something gaudy day. We'll have to make that one tomorrow. Okay, I'll wear something gaudy tomorrow, if I can remember. Anyway, hey, by the way, the uh, Wayne County Board of Commissioners meeting this morning. The, the uh, agenda briefing starts at 8 o'clock. The 
uh, formal meeting itself begins at 9 o'clock, and all that happens on the fourth floor here at the Wayne County Courthouse. Everybody and anybody's invited to attend. All Wayne County citizens, please attend the, uh, the board meeting. As I said, it starts at 8 with an agenda briefing, then at 9 o'clock with a formal meeting, and everyone is invited to attend. And believe it or not, you actually not only learn something, but you might even enjoy it. Uh, and I, I, I can't encourage you enough to come and visit the Wayne County Board of Commissioners. They want everybody and anybody here for their Board of Commissioners meeting. And they meet every first and third Tuesday here in the courthouse. All right. Oh, by the way, if you can't make it, it also shows on, uh, on Ustream. Uh, it's streamed live. So all you got to do to get to that is to go to WayneGov.com on your computer, WayneGov.com, and then go on that page. When you get to the, the landing page, you go down under Resources. The heading is Resources. Down there, you'll find a link that takes you directly to the Ustream feed, directly to the feed. You don't have to do anything else. That's all you got to do. Go to WayneGov.com, go click on the, uh, the link under resources that takes you to the Wayne County Board of Commissioners meeting. Take you right to it, okay? Then if you still can't see it, you can catch it tonight on Channel 10 and on Channel 99. That is Spectrum Cable Channel 10 and AT&T Uverse Cable Channel 99. At what time? 7 p.m. 1900 hours, if you will. That's tonight and Thursday night. Okay? Now, here's today's trivia question. You ready for this? Ready. Today's trivia question has to do with the Al Albafet. Albafet. Alba. Alba. What's that thing with letters? The alphabet. Alphabet. There you go. Alphabet. What do the letters H I O X have in common. Hiox, H-I-O-X, capital letters, capital letters, H and I and O and X, have in common. They all have something in common. I'm not even going to ask. I can't give you a clue. I, oh, I you didn't, didn't ask for a clue? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. Which I'm I knew not, that was going to be the giving, answer. I'm not giving a clue. Anyway, all those four letters have something in common. And they're the only four letters in the Abiflet that you that that have this in common with the other three. Anyway, that's it. Now, what else do you have? We have Pumpkin Fest at the Goldsboro Library. It's oh for boy. ages 12 and below. 12 and below. Um, it starts at two o'clock. Celebrate file at the library on an early dismissal day. So this is actually an early dismissal day for um, public schools. There have, yeah, I just threw that in. We'll have books, snacks, crafts, and games. Books, Bring, snacks, crafts, and games. Yes. Well, you did that very well. <laughs> Bring your decorated plastic pumpkin. Make sure it's a plastic. Plastic pumpkin. Yes. Yeah, okay, that's good. For our book theme pumpkin contest and leave it with us for our display afterwards. You can register at 919-735-1824. Plastic pumpkin. Yes. Okay, very good. Also. Also. The, for the adults, you can learn to crochet at the Goldsboro Library. At 6.30 on the 18th, you can register at 919-735-1824. Join us as we learn to make a simple crochet project. Materials are supplied, and you need to register. I used to play crochet. Did you? Oh, yeah. You know, I don't you think they're your, talking about that. You put your foot on it, and then you, you, know, you knock it over there, and it goes through this little hoop thing, and it hits that wooden stake, and then you go over there, and you knock it over there. They're yeah. not talking about that. Huh? They're not talking about that. They're not? No. They're talking about yarn and needles where you crochet. I never hit it. Hit. Yarn? That couldn't go very far. And you hit them with a needle? Yep. Okay. Judgment House is coming up October 13th through November the 12th. It is underway now, and it's on every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at the First Pentecostal Holiness Church. It is free to get in, call, and make reservations, though, because it's busy and almost packed every night. Call 919-734-2674 or 919-734-4660. Birding. Birding. And tweet, tweet to you, too. It's a seminar discussing the basic principles of bird identification. Uh, also identifying birds specific to Eastern North Carolina and utilizing free web-based bird identification resources. Now, 
we were, as I mentioned a little while ago, we were out at Waynesboro Park the other day, and uh, Neil Bartlett uh, is also uh, a, a bird fancier, and he has identified many, many species, everything from hummingbirds to a bald eagle out at Waynesboro Park. Now, you can't just go out there and see everything, because you just have to hit it just right. We saw a deer. But you have to be quiet. You, and a beaver. Okay. Anyway, uh, you do have to be quiet. Uh, uh, Neil said that he'll often go out there and just find a bench out in the middle of nowhere and just kind of sit there with his camera on, and they will eventually just come out. Anyway, back to this. On October 30th, the seminar about birding, and the instructor is Dr. Walker from Wayne Community College. Dr. Thomas Walker. Free admission, pre-registration is required. Call Lisa, Lisa Newkirk, 919-739-6931. 739-6931. And this is going to be taking place in Fremont at the Fremont Town Hall, which is in Fremont. Okay. Birding. Ah, ah. That's something I learned on Hee Haw. Ah, ah. Out in Cornfield County. Yeah, okay. Okay, what else do we have here? Uh, what is that? That's oh. a go and go walks. Oh. That it will not take place until November now, 4th. November. Mm -hmm. The next Go Wing Go Walk is in November. It will be on November 4th. Okay. Coming up November 11th is the Veterans Day Parade, which will be taking place in downtown Goldsboro, starting at 11 a.m. on 11-11. November 11th, Veterans and Active Duty Military Ride Buses Free, by the way, the week of November 6th through, uh, through Veterans Day, November 11th. You ride the bus absolutely free. All you have to do to ride the, the GWTA bus free of charge is to show your military ID, your DD-214, or some form of identification that shows you as a member of the military, active or retired. All right? Ride the GWTA bus free beginning November 6th, going through November 11th. I'm glad you asked when Daylight Saving Time starts. Daylight Saving Time begins on November 5th. Whew. Daylight Saving Time ends on November 5th. That's what I meant to say. Because it begins next year. Anyway, it ends November... What happened in October? Huh? Didn't it used to change in October? It used to change in October, but back when I think it was uh, Bush 43 was president, they changed it. They extended it earlier two weeks and I think later two weeks. Now it's, uh, for the, so for the past several years, it ends November 5th, which means on November 4th, before you retire for the evening, you have to move your clocks backwards. So if you go to bed, say at 10 o'clock, you move your clock back to nine, right? That's what you do. Spring forward, fall back. Fall back means moving it back one hour. All right, November 5th, daylight saving time ends. The next, oh, that's November. Well, there's a, there's a blood drive. There's a blood drive coming up on November 7th. I think you got it all. Do I have that? Uh, you you kind of got it all. Am I mixed up? Yeah. Or maybe somebody mixed it up. Oh, so I'm reading things actually that should be later. Yes. The next, the next Wayne County Red Cross will be November 7th at the Wayne County American Red Cross office. That's at 600 North George Street in Goldsburger. 600 North George, <clears throat> it starts at 1.30, goes till 6 p.m. November 7th, two days, that's, that would be a Tuesday, wouldn't it? Two days after you move your clocks back, okay? Let's talk about this coming Saturday. This coming Saturday at the Cliffs of the Noose State Park. What's going on? Is the Pink Plunge. Oh, is that, oh yeah, 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 we talked about this yesterday. Yes. The we did. Plink, plink plunge. The pink plunge. That's what I said. <laughs> it is to support the Southeastern Cancer Care and the Arts Council of Wayne County. So you dress from head to toe in pink. You take a plunge. And you can also text pink plunge to 71777. Mm. Okay. To give a donation. To make a donation. There you go. There you go. 
It says here the participants are encouraged to collect pledges from friends and family and co-workers and others and then dress head to toe in pink and then plunge into the autumn waters of the cliffs of the new state park's swim beach to benefit the Southeastern Cancer Center, Southeastern Cancer Care, and also it benefits the Arts Council of Wayne County. It's a great activity for co-workers and sports teams and student groups and other community-minded organizations to participate in together while having fun for a great cause. Again, pink plunge at 71777. All right. I think it's time. Well, let's go. We're going to our interview. The next segment up next on Sunrise with Wayne and Pat. Community College today, and we're talking to a couple of coordinators. We're talking to Lisa Newkirk and Monica Miller. Ladies, it's so good to see you. How are you doing? Good. How about you? I'm doing fine. It's good to see you. Now, uh, coordinators, you are in the continuing education business. Yes. Lisa, what does that mean? What do you do? <laughs> it's actually workforce continuing education now. Uh, uh, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> and what we what we do is we uh, short-term training, occupational, we have occupational courses, and we also have community service courses in our workforce continuing education. Okay. So who takes these classes now? I mean, I know there's students, but I mean, are these high school graduates? These are... We do have high school graduates. We have those who actually have college degrees. Mm -hmm. um, in my program, special programs, we have... Um, Sometimes the um, employer will send their employees to come and take uh -huh. classes for professional development or just training. Um, and the average individual can walk off the street saying, hey, I want to learn about computers. So they may well just come and enroll into the class. So Continuing education. Right. There you go. Right. And oftentimes uh, it's not only just uh, young, new students fresh out of high school. As you mentioned, it's older people. It's yes. somebody my age. Right. Or even, Absolutely. or well, you stop that. <laughs> okay. Yes. No, we but I know what you're saying. You're right. Yes. You're right. Yes. Continuing yes. education. Mm -hmm. Now, but you're not in the same area, are you? No, Two different areas. What is your area? No. I have the applied technology programs. What does that mean? Uh, auto safety, um, OBD. Um, OBD. <laughs> onboard diagnostic training for those you go get your car inspected. You do that. Wow. I have an instructor that does that. Oh, you have an instructor that does that? Yes, okay. yes, yes. I'll coordinate that class for him, and we offer those um, once a month, each semester. Wow. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and students are ranging from the age of 16 and above. 16 and older. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, interesting about the OBD, uh, mm -hmm. that uh, these are people who get this training and then go out to some of the car dealerships or to some of the service centers and then they're trained to inspect. Yes, and typically they are already em employed, mm -hmm. and the employee sends them to the course, so they, oh. they have to renew their certifications. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, Monica, what is your area? Special programs. Uh, well, yeah, you, yes, you mentioned that, I but know, that covers right? everything. What it, is it? You know, it really does. What? Tell um, me about it. It goes from if you want to get your notary, become a notary. Yeah. So I do the notary public um, classes oh, every okay. month. We do the real estate pre licensing class. We do the insurance pre licensing class. We actually have a property and casualty insurance pre licensing class that's coming up on August 13th. So um, if, if you are interested in becoming an insurance agent for property and casualty, want to go work with an insurance company, you know, there you go. We also do so. Uh, we partner with the Wayne County Public School System, mm -hmm. so we're actually offering the substitute teacher training here now. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. We are. Wow. Yeah. And then we send them on off into the Wayne County Public School System to mm -hmm. be the best subs that they can be. Mm -hmm. We do. <laughs> um, and we also have um, <laughs> basic computer classes mm -hmm. where you want to do introduction, intermediate, or advanced mm -hmm. um, training. We do the Microsoft Office classes. Just to name a few, we do the um, CompTIA, like if you want to go out and become a certified computer repair person, we do the um, CompTIA A Plus Cert Prep. We do it for Network secure, Network Plus, Security Plus. And a lot of times you have your system administrators, your network administrators mm -hmm. or analysts that want to go and get those certifications. Some are up for promotion on a job and some are actually trying to get their foot wet in the field so that way they'll take the training, go and actually see it 
Or and they, the they can't get that promotion unless they have the certification. Some of them. Some, some of them. We yeah. have some of those that have been in the um, workforce for a long time and are coming back. Yeah. Um, and we're actually doing the Cisco <clears throat> Networking Academy. And one new class that we've just started is the Nail Technology class. If you want to go and become a licensed nail technology, a nail technician, let me say yes. If you want to go <laughs> and do some nails, so that way you can um, go to the shop and let people come. And you can rent a booth or even if you want to kind of start your own business you, you can do, do all that, that. Well. yes sir yeah. we do a special programs oh, on yes. nails and stuff <laughs> yes yes <laughs> 16 penny 20 penny or whatever right yes sir okay maybe not that's not the right kind of nail <laughs> but now yeah. th this this you know people are looking for work mm -hmm. and with a little bit of training mm -hmm. they can get a better job than they have now mm -hmm. and that is that kind of what we're after here yes trying I to think. make people give people better opportunities absolutely and uh, another program that I coordinate is the advanced manufacturing program oh and, yeah that's a biggie know, <laughs> we have a, a welding and HVAC class that I offer every semester but also uh, partner with um, Small Business and Industry and Wayne Development Alliance mm -hmm. and our curriculum applied technology to cater to the needs of the workforce in Wayne County who, who's looking for short-term training. So, Short-term training? Yes, yeah, short-term. So they can get in and get out real quick and have that extra knowledge and get that yes. better job, that higher paying job? Mm -hmm. Strengthen the job skills, learn new skills. You know, you mentioned welding, Lisa. Mm -hmm. Yes. That is, there's an art to that. Yes, it is, absolutely. There's an art to that. And uh, a welder can almost write his own ticket. A absolutely. And one thing that I like about one of the uh, classes that I run with welding is some people think that they, that's what they want to do mm -hmm. until if they have the opportunity to take their short-term training, they, they'll realize, mm, I don't want those sparks mm -hmm. sparking on me. That's yeah. not what I want yeah. to do. So they don't put a, invest a lot of money in it bef before they actually just uh, go and get a job or go to our curriculum program for the two-year degree, they actually kind of have that experience in that short-term training. Well, then they know then that they have saved some time, they've saved some money yes. by deciding, well, no, this is not what I want to do. Yes. But that's what that's where you come in, isn't it? Absolutely. You, you, they come sit down, they talk to Lisa or Monica, and they say, you know, I don't know what I want to do. Mm -hmm. yeah, we help them make decisions sometimes. <laughs> do, you, do you really? You yeah. get that all the time? On phone or, in, you know, in person, we, yes. we do. We have to stop and... You know, and talk to the student, try to meet their needs. So, how do you approach that? Uh, how do you, how do you, a student comes and sits down and says, uh, gee, Ms. Newkirk, I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> what do you, how do you start? Oh, well, first, <clears throat> find out what maybe what they already know how to do mm. and see if they like to enhance that. Or, you know, just showing my book, I tabloid, as we, which I knew when we coming out, our spring 20. 18 will be coming out probably. November. Is, is this a commercial? <laughs> this is not a commercial, Eddie. I'm, we don't gonna, I'm on camera. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, we're going to cut that part out right there. That's okay. Yes. Well, we actually are working on our um, spring course catalog mm -hmm. um, that was classes starting January, and it will be available mid to the end of November okay. for the public. For the public. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they can look through that and see, well, maybe. Yeah, maybe yeah sometimes like they, make, they make a decision. You know, you have to try to let them make it on their own instead yeah. of us telling them because, you know. Oh, yeah, you yeah, can't and, tell them. Yeah, and sometimes they look through it and they see something. Oh, this interests me. And they, and they you, you know. You ask me if they have a hobby that they like. Yes. Do you mm -hmm. like to fly kites? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> well, I'm I just mean, picking up. It, it could be a class because one unique thing about continuing education is we can we have an instructor and we have students. We have space here on campus. We can offer a course and we um, very creative. We can be very creative in what we do. So if there's currently not a course, you can create one mm -hmm. if you have enough people interested. Yes, and if it's ethical. Well, of course. <laughs> and, and you know, she's right, because I was thinking the same thing while I was like, hey, don't forget to mention that, because for instance, this past, um, actually this past summer, we partnered with Gold Vermilla and we did a Spanish for a, the, their employees, a Spanish class for right. their employees right. specifically. Mm -hmm. We had a regular Spanish class going for the workplace, but they wanted specifically for their group. Right. And we actually do that a lot of times. So Is it may right? not be advertised, but we can still offer it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
once there is a class like that for uh, for a special a special mm -hmm. class offered, say specifically for a company, mm -hmm. can someone join? Someone on the outside join that? Is that specifically for that company? Because that company's paying for it, aren't right. you? Well, then that, no. Right. No, that that would be only for those people. And sometimes we may do them at their location. Like okay. every once in a while, one of the um, local banks may want to do a notary class for their employees. Yeah. So we'll host a class there, and, you know, it's just designed specifically for okay. them. But that's not saying then that if someone from the outside right. wanted to come. Right. Mm -hmm. If another industry finds out that that class is being mm -hmm. offered and it's they a need that they have in their industry as well, yeah. they can partner with. Well, you really got to enjoy your job, <laughs> don't you? I do. I know. Very yeah. busy, active. Yeah, I'm sure you as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is very busy. What, what do people not understand about what you do? Are there any misconceptions that you know of? Uh, what would you say? Or people get a pretty good idea of what you do. Mm -hmm. When you say the word coordinator, they don't actually know what a coordinator. A lot of people, I've been uh, astounded. Coordinator, what's that? Yeah, what's and you, can, you never can put all the words together to tell. Well, Just I've like even standing. Got a blue jacket and, uh, and gray <laughs> pants. How does that look? You're coordinating. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And then a lot of times, too, with um, that, I know I get a lot of times they think that we're the ones to teach the class, too. Yeah. I mean, they think we uh, teach every class. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, no, some of them you have to yeah. have a special credential in order yeah. to be able to teach. I was wondering how you were teaching OBD. <laughs> <laughs> Get on the ground. Get on the ground. <laughs> right. Yeah, but we um, it, it's very interesting. Um, and you got to be able to multitask because yeah. you have so many different things coming at you at one oh, time. Oh, I'm sure. Yes. But also, we're there for the community. Mm -hmm. You know, um, mm -hmm. and we try to, you know, please them to the best of our abilities. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, fascinating. Mm -hmm. So anybody with any kind of question, they can call you. Absolutely. How do they? What's the number for the continuing education? <laughs> Our main, main number. Our main number is 919 yes. 739 yes. 6900. 739 6900. Yes. Workforce Continuing Education. Gotcha. <laughs> Workforce Continuing Education is at 919 739 6900. Lisa Newkirk, thank you. Thank you. Always good to see you. It's a pleasure. Monica, it's a pleasure meeting you. Yes, likewise. Good to see you. And we'll need to do this again sometime. Yes, Absolutely. All right. Thank From you. Wayne Community College. Thank you. Hey, we're back on Sunrise with Wayne and Pat. Thanks for being with us. Um, coming up on a week from tonight at the Wayne County Public Library, there will be a program entitled, Do We or Do We Not? Oh no, it doesn't say that. It says, Dewey Brothers. The Dewey Brothers, founders, machinists, and mill supplies from 1885 to 1996, over 100 years documenting the institutional memory of the Dewey Brothers. This will be taking place at the Wayne County Public Library, 1001 East Ash Street, Goldsboro, on October 24th, one week from tonight. And it begins at C Times. At who times? Seven. It says to see the times. Starts at 7 p.m., goes till 8 p.m. They, they get a lot of information in that one hour. Uh, Goldsboro Branch of the Public Library hosting a special program to document the institutional memory of the Dewey Brothers Foundry, they used to make a whole bunch of steel and they took that steel and made stuff like manhole covers and, and steam turbines and gears and beams. In fact, Dewey Brothers, uh, you can not only see some of the manhole covers in, in Goldsboro that they made who knows when, in the last century or perhaps even the century before that, or you can travel around the country to find Dewey Brothers manhole covers all over the place. All right, so that's October 24th at the Wayne County Public Library. And I would go early because I'm afraid it's going to be packed. I would think so. And you're not going to find a seat. Yeah, that's because that's a pretty popular topic around here. Yes. Particularly if you're a history buff. Uh, the 8th Annual Leadership Luncheon. Yes. Yes. Hosted by the Chamber of Commerce. Chamber of Commerce has a leadership luncheon, uh, has the Leadership Wayne uh, program underway, and this will be the eighth annual leadership luncheon that will be taking place on Thursday, October 26th. That is a week from this Thursday. Uh, it starts at noon at Lane Tree, Lane Tree Conference Center. The cost is $20 for chamber members, $30 for non-members, so it'd be a great time for you to learn about the chamber and then join. Um, 
you need to RSVP to Linda Murray no later than now. Or I would do it as soon as possible. Uh, now Linda is at uh, Linda M at WayneCountyChamber.com. Linda M at WayneCountyChamber.com, or you can call and get information 919-734-2241-919-734-2241. Don't we have some special guests or special speakers? Special speakers. This is a panel event. And these special speakers will be Selena Whirl. She is the VP, the Vice President of Operations of Whirl Contracting Company. Uh, Dr. Samar Kazbari. Uh, Dr. Kazbari is a hematologist, oncologist. He is with Southeastern Medical Oncology Center. Bobby Strickland is CEO of Strickland Insurance Company. Uh, Strickland Insurance Group, I should say. And finally, uh, but far from being the least, is Mr. Craig Honeycutt. And Craig Honeycutt, Craig is our Wayne County's assistant county manager, who by early next year will be our county manager. That's great. All right, it's a great event for employee professional development, and this is sponsored by a whole bunch of nice people, and I certainly hope you're able to attend. That's going to be a great event. The Veterans Day Parade going on in downtown Goldsboro, as I mentioned a little while ago. November 11th at 11 a.m. Kicks off on November 11th, 11th month, 11th day, 11th hour, 11th hour, downtown Goldsboro. And you can be a part of the parade if you want. You can simply by filling out the application and, and sending it in to the Veterans and Patriots Coalition. You do not have to be a veteran. You only need to be a patriot. And if you want to be in this parade, you're certainly invited to do so. Fill out the application, get it back in, and then join the parade on November 11th by wearing something patriotic. Wear, be in, somehow use the red, white, and blue. Applications have to be in by November 6th. Applications have to be in no later than November 6th. In. And where do you get the applications? And where do you get the applications? Go to wangov.com, go to current topics, scroll down, hit the link for the Veterans Parade, fill out your application, and return it back to the veterans. There you go. Well, I'm glad I asked that question. I'm so glad you did. Okay, on Thursday. This uh, Thursday. This Thursday. This Thursday is the Mayor's Committee for Persons with Disabilities Awards Luncheon. Um, and this awards luncheon will be held at the Goldsboro Event Center at uh, 1501 South Slocum Street. Awards will be presented, and Reverend Doug Seymour will be the speaker. He is with the Blended Fellowship Church. Tickets are only $12 and can be obtained by calling the City of Goldsboro. Call Shy Cole Simpson Carter at 919-580-4318. 919-580-4318. Is this the one that does the parade? They do the, uh, the uh, it's a disabilities walk, yeah. They do a parade every year. The 150th National Grange Celebration will be taking place October 28th. This is on a Saturday. Admission is absolutely free of charge. It costs nothing to go in and celebrate the anniversary of the Grange. Uh, at uh, Wayne Regional Agricultural Fairgrounds on Highway 117 South. And the events include a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, antique cars and tractors. We've got motorcycle exhibits. We've got tractor exhibits. We've got art on display. I don't know who Art is, but I hear he is on display all the time, all over the place. Art display. There's a live auction. There is uh, kids events. There's a chili cook-off. There's an entertainment. There's a 5K run. There is a uh, farm equipment display, cornhole tournament. A whole bunch of stuff. Plus, there will be a U.S. flag retirement ceremony performed by the Boy Scouts of America. And a whole lot more, it says here. The 5K run starts at 8 o'clock. The gates and the vendors and the entertainment and all that starts at 10 a.m. And there's two places that you can call to get information about this or you can go ahead and register for the events. Number one, call Linda, 919-689-3135. 689-3135. Or call Diane, 919-734-3333. Tweet, 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 tweet. Diane Mazingo at 919-734-3333 or Linda Crawford, 919-689-3135. Okay? You forgot to mention one of the events there. Oh, did I skip over that? 
Well, I'm afraid. I'm afraid to say it. I don't know what I might do. <laughs> okay, it is the mule drill team. Because I think that is is interesting. Why do you think that? Because I've never seen it, so I'm not sure what it really is. So would you oh, like yeah. to? No, I don't. You really? Really? A mule drill team. Mm -hmm. Well, I have, I have, I, I have actually. <sighs> I've made jokes about it, right? Yes, you did. But it really is, what it really is, is a mule drill team. You've heard of drill teams? You know how they march along, you know, and then yes. they, they, they turn, and then they turn back this way. It looks like Pac-Man or something, but, you know, and then they, then they spin the rifles and stuff like that. Well, these mules carry drills. <laughs> okay, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <coughs> what it is, <coughs> these mules will perform a series of of uh, going through the motions of, of, of well, through steps and the back and forth, you know, it'll look like uh, look like mules and a drill team. So there. I'll just have to go see for myself. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Here's the answer to today's trivia question. What's the answer? What do the letters of the alphabet, the capital letters H I O X, have in common? Only four out of these 26 letters of our, of, of our alphabet, our, you know, in Hawaii, they only have 12 letters in their alphabet. Okay. But in the, in the alphabet we use, which is Latin, the Latin alphabet, four out of the 26 letters can do this. Do they do tricks? They, they have their drill team. Actually, the, the answer is that you can turn them upside down or backwards. And they stay the same. And they stay the same. Try that. Capital H, capital I, capital O, capital X. H-I-O-X. I can see that. Yep. There you go. And that's it, right? Hey, yes. we're on every day, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. Then we repeat at noon, then again at 5.30 p.m. Your turn. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and watch us on YouTube at Wayne County Government. So until tomorrow, I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Pat Garner. And this is Sunrise with Wayne and Pat.